Hello, my name is Michael McCurry, and I'm going to be talking about the the week seven in review. So, yeah, so this I guess this is the last review video of this quarter. That's uh, kind of kind of nice, but you know, whatever. So, what did we learn this week? This week was all about methods, just straight up methods. Is um, was this week? It was learning the different kinds of things that methods could be used for, different types of methods. Um, and even some kind of a way of breaking up the work and how to make large programming projects feel small. And yeah, so I thought that this week was pretty interesting. Um, you know, I didn't really understand methods before, but now that I learned that they're kind of just functions, it just makes it, it's a lot easier to understand and kind of, you know, use. Because I remember uh, not too long ago when we did a, we did an in-class project and we did it, we used methods for that and you know super duper confused but now it all makes sense it's really clear really easy um so between the two different methods you're gonna have like you have a return value method and a uh, avoid method um a return value method is, is pretty much all you have to do is make it so that it returns value right uh you just re you know you know do return and then whatever value you want with the void method you kind of have to build that into um uh, into your code you kind of have to build it into like you know the the printing it out and all that. I really don't understand the. What I don't understand is the difference like why use one over the other. Because to me, it seems a lot easier just to use a return value rather than avoid, but that's just me. Um, so what I like most about the whole course, I uh, I really liked, just, I really liked Revel. Um, I thought that Revel was actually really good and pretty interesting in terms of coding because the last the last thing I had to use was kind of just so-so. Um, I also really liked the emphasis on doing group stuff and projects and, you know, just getting out there more. I really enjoyed that. Um, there were some things that need improvement for this course. Hmm. I can't really think of much that needs improvement. I think it's a really good course. I think it's really solid. Um, you know, I just, I wish that we could, I wish it was an in-person course rather than, you know, Zoom. I was really hoping it would be in person. Um, but, you know, things change and that's okay. Um, I think this course is incredibly useful. I think Java is one of the most important um, coding language there is. It's used in just about everything. It's super duper important, super easy to learn. It's you know, in some points, it's kind of easier to learn than, than Python, but, um, you know, it, overall, I just think it's, it was really a course. I'm very, I'm very glad I took it and I can't wait to go on to Java too. Um, I think I did meet the student, all the student learning outcomes for this course. I think I did. I, mean, I think I did a pretty good job. Actually, I'm pretty proud of myself that I maintained a pretty decent score throughout this. Um, I'd say in terms of a difficult topic, most difficult topic to kind of understand this week was yeah actually I can't think of a difficult topic really it was all pretty it was pretty easy and pretty straightforward and I'm pretty excited to go on to whatever's next um getting on to the posted materials I think that of the post materials I think that the videos are always the most helpful because I just learn best when we're talking when it's like when someone is talking to me and I'm responding to them, and it's just kind of this uh, nice. I just learn better that way. I learn better in person, and I don't really do, usually do too well, like um, you know, just strictly online or strictly just reading. You know, I usually tend to do a lot better in person. So uh, that's this week in review. Thank you.